Guess what? Ford just dropped the news about their shiny new pickup truck for 2024. And get this, it's crazy cheap. I mean, seriously, the competition might as well pack up and go home because Ford's got them beat. When was the last time you saw a truck that's not only affordable, but also super practical and useful for everyone? This one ticks all the boxes and then some. It's like they've cracked the code for making a truck that's simple, stylish, and dependable all at once. And you know what's even cooler. Other car makers are scrambling to catch up because Ford's blazing a whole new trail in the industry. The buzz is real. Ford fans and gearheads are over the moon because it's like we're revving up the time machine. The big reveal was at none other than the Detroit Auto Show, where Jim Farley, Ford's main man, took the stage with fire in his belly, talking up a storm about pushing boundaries and serving up something for everyone. So to answer the question of why, you don't have to think twice. It is all about perfect timing. Remember the Ranchero. Ford's rolling back the clock and bringing the Ranchero out of retirement, right when everyone's going insane for throwback rides. Plus, the Ranchero was pure American genius on wheels, blending pickup muscle with sedan swag. Launched back in 57, it was the ride that rewrote the rule book. It won hearts, became a cult classic, and then, poof, it vanished in 79. But the dream never died, and now the Ranchero's roaring back to life. It's like the car scene's been hit with a retro wave, and the Ranchero's riding it back into the spotlight. It is not hard to see that lately it's all about that classic cool, and car makers are digging deep into their treasure troves, bringing back the legends for the modern road warriors. So let me ask you, is it even a surprise that they are doing this? Jumping on the retro bandwagon? It's a nod to the days when the Ranchero was the hot ticket, duking it out with the likes of Chevy and Dodge. Those were the days of the original car truck mashups, and now Ford's revving up for another round. So the real question now is, how good would it really be? I mean, it is cool that they are considering lower class buyers, and I am all for it. But with a cheaper price, usually a cheap and unreliable product would be the only choice. But the way things are going on, we don't need to worry about that so much. So the Ranchero's got to be more than a blast from the past. It needs to pack a punch with today's tech and tick all the boxes for the modern buyer. Pickup trucks are all the rage, especially stateside, but they're not the only show in town. With the Green Revolution, electric SUVs and crossovers are stealing the spotlight. So if you really think about it, the competition is not just with trucks. Ford's got to play its cards right with the Ranchero, making it stand out in this crowded ring. Finding that sweet spot between retro cool and future ready is what'll make or break Ford's bold move. They really need to figure out how they are going to make it. Making something like this at a cheap price while still keeping the reputation undisputed is really hard. But they might have already figured out a way. The first thing we need to understand is that Ford is on a mission, and that is to make the Ranchero the talk of the town. They're gearing up to spark a social media frenzy, roll out head-turning ads, and team up with big names to get everyone hyped. And they're not just stopping there. They're making sure you can snag a Ranchero at any Ford dealer, making it a breeze for fans far and wide to get behind the wheel. Now this is a bigger deal than you think, because if you take your time to take a peek at the lineup of recent wallet-friendly rides hitting the market, you'll spot a common thread weaving through them all. They're laser-focused on one standout feature while trimming the fat elsewhere. Now, you might scratch your head at this strategy initially, but trust me, it's a game-changer. Game Changer Ford's Maverick and Toyota's Land Cruiser are shining examples of how honing in on a single feature can be a total game changer. These brands have mastered the art of spotlighting a signature trait while keeping the extras in check, striking that sweet balance that keeps wallets happy and profits healthy. It's all about that one standout feature that grabs our attention. The Maverick. It wins hearts with its no-frills efficiency and affordability. Meanwhile, the Land Cruiser. It's all about that timeless style and off-road prowess that's second to none. Now, the latest addition to the mix. This is sure to shake up the whole industry, and already a lot of companies are jumping on the bandwagon, so the competition is going to be on 100 when these models come out, and almost all of them are shaping up to be winners. 
This bad boy is hitting the market at a sweet $10,000 price point, which puts it in the new emerging segment of highly affordable trucks. Now, buckle up because things are about to get exciting. You see, in this fast-evolving landscape of affordable rides, there's a crucial factor to grasp. Every player in the game is hustling to bring something unique to the table, making it a real head-scratcher when it comes to picking the cream of the crop. Which is good because, as the saying goes, competition breeds innovation, and the other Detroit stars are already answering this call. Take Chevy, for instance, who is jumping on the comeback train too, revving up the nostalgia with the Montana. But that is not all. They are also reviving the Blazer. This bad boy hit the scene in 69 as a tough-as-nails off-roader, and now it's back with a 2019 twist as a sleek midsize SUV. It's got the urban edge but still tips its hat to the old-school Blazer charm, helping Chevy beef up its SUV lineup and reach out to more folks. And this is not just an American thing. Volkswagen's been turning heads with its own throwback, the Beetle. The new Beetle buzzed onto the roads in 97, giving a big nod to the iconic Bugs vibes, but with all the modern bells and whistles. It's like a time capsule on wheels, dialing up the fun factor and snagging drivers who dig a ride with personality and pizzazz. And the compact truck is also facing the same thing. Surprisingly, like we said earlier, the Ranchero already has a lot of competition. One of them is the Subaru Brat. But technically, the Brat is not a real or direct rival of the Ranchero because the Brat is not a city slicker. You will not be afraid to go off-road with it, and the Brat is more than ready to deliver an amazing experience. With its standard all-wheel drive system, this beast intelligently divvies up torque to each wheel, ensuring unmatched grip and stability, whether you're tackling rugged terrain or navigating tricky slopes. And that's just the beginning of its prowess. And thanks to its symmetrical design, the Brat redefines the game by evenly distributing weight and power across both axles. Compared to its peers in the compact truck arena, the Brat is in a league of its own. But that is the best quality about the compact truck market. Gone are the days when slapping on the fanciest label sufficed. This segment demands innovation from manufacturers, or they face extinction. It's all about breaking molds and setting new standards. Because in this game, Conformity just won't cut it. Conclusion And you know who else understands this. Toyota. Have you seen their new $10,000 truck? It is just insane. The concept alone is worth all the praise and hype. We can talk about it here, but it will take all day. So check out our channel because we have already made a video on both trucks. You can thank me later. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you there.